Hey right guys, Trace Munchers Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 2 of Bridgerton Season 2. I watched episode 1 around an hour ago, ready for season uh, season 2, ready for episode 2 now, but I am ready for season 2 as well. Because uh, episode 1 was a really good start actually, I think they did a very good job with Eloise's character, Penelope, their friendship, Anthony seems a lot more likeable, Kate seems like an interesting character, so there's a lot there uh, of like groundwork to kind of push this season forward and hopefully have it be stronger than season one again i like season one but i think there was a lot there they could have improved on and it looks like they're possibly going to do that with this so yeah episode two we're of course going to be doing two episodes of this every single day until we finish the season so make sure you subscribed if you haven't already and i'll be doing a bridgerton character tier list as well which will be kind of fun to do so yeah and if you do want the uncuts then a link to page on page will be in the description and one of the comments down below but for now episode two Let's do this. First, tame the rather prickly spinster of a beast. Of a beast? Her sister. Yo, oh, she called uh, Kate Lord a Lumley, beast. This love of my family that I aim to choose a bride with my head and not my heart. Then do you find <laughs> it's like, oh, emotions. Every rose does have its thorn after all. Of course, the only competition that compels my attention is the game of courtship. So best of <laughs> you know, sick with that players do try and... Lumley's already had an inordinate amount of time with her. <laughs> He's literally <laughs> trembling. With him at the moment, and you wouldn't want me to interrupt your discourse when it's... God, look how many there are. Think of it, she may be free. Ah. After December. Unless, of course, she is on her honeymoon by then. December? Your dubious and libertine reputation goes before you. No intrusion, Bridgerton. Bridgerton. <laughs> Unlucky, mate. End of the queue like it's like an amusement park. I know I could convince her of it. If I were to in fact find her. What time. you must find, my dear. <laughs> She's going to be it's shook when she finds out. Assistant. Has to be this season. Someone more like Colin. My brother? No, not Colin. Colin. Let's stop talking about... Oh, because Colin literally walked in. I'm, I'm, I was writing a note, sorry. <laughs> Colin didn't stay abroad for too long then. <laughs> Oh, I think he's shocked. Must get you to family. I should like you all to ready yourselves for the races today. We will be attending. At least ain't a ball. United as one. I'll take a race over a ball. The balls are cool, but you can't just have one every head. <laughs> I guess you could. That looks splendid. Life is up the place, yes. It is a happy. Uh, yeah, sure. I shall have to fill you in on all of my adventures one day. <laughs> Right now, ladies, run along and get dressed. Uh, we head to the Royal Races today. Of course. Everyone's going to the race, of course. It's always sunny here, isn't it? It's always sunny. Mr. Thomas Dorset, allow me to introduce Miss Sharma. Not the worst last time they've had it. Are you finding the season, Miss Sharma? It is a season, Mr. Dorset. I really should. London is a far cry from Bombay. It already is... cut her off, so you've already failed. We should find our seats. Allow me to join you. Allow me to join you? Bridgertons. What? Mr. The Mondrich. The hey! Well. What for my studies? I find medicine particularly fascinating. The helping of God, others this guy's dull. Mr. Dorset. Mrs. Weiner. Lumley. Lumley! Lord Bridgerton, allow me to introduce myself. Mr. Thomas Dorset. Nah, Lumley is cooler than Dorset. Lumley was well look at him, he's buzzing. But there are many excellent, affectionate families of the Tom, are there not? <laughs> <laughs> she really does not like him. Speaking of refreshments, I could not help but notice the ladies are without. We are Ooh. It is an unseasonably hot day, and any gentleman would make sure. Miss Edwina, allow me to fetch a <laughs> Lumley's, I love him. That would be most agreeable. Spin off series about Lumley's family, please. Wow, you did him like that. You really did Lumley like that. You really just did him like that. My guy went off to get lemonade. And he ain't... He ain't coming back. Colin! Colin Creevy. Oh, I didn't see you there, yeah. How have you been? Well, he I seems a bit you. smitten, you know. You not my guy seems a bit smitten. Been. Well, I was never on my own. I see. Have you met someone? No, 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 no. He's going to talk about he bought a dog back with him or something. Of course she has. Rain the way the light seeps through when you hold it to the sky. How was I clue? Use instructions pertaining to a dog's undergrowth, evidently. 
Most likely. Or right. is it? <laughs> oh, that was the best stance ever. <laughs> Fresh hat though, Eloise. She's gonna find out it's Penelope. Might happen sooner than I thought. I have a feeling about him. Pardon me? This is good. I like you simply chose the horse everyone else has chosen. I like that it's these two don't get along straight away. Because Simon and Daphne, even though they were it was more they were putting up an act straight away and then Yeah, but they still kinda liked each other very early on. These two don't. Meaning he will struggle to make headway, overheat and slow down during the final leg, giving High Flyer a much swifter light. Ooh, she knows her shit when it comes to races. You think too much about it. <laughs> I like it. My apologies for the delay. Not to worry. Lord Bridgerton has been keeping us entertained. I'm quite certain he has. Oh, call him out. <laughs> Budge up, Anthony. Ha! <laughs> well, you went to get lemonade, you get a little, little cop. What the? Let's see how good this looks. Does it look like an actual race or does it look like a studio? It looks like an actual race. Hey, what exhilarating visuals! Should be separated. It's all in good spirit, you think? Yes, I'm having such fun. <laughs> He's our favourite character. I'm hurrying like a newsboy. A letter cheer. <laughs> we won today. <clears throat> like a newsboy. I'll take you down to see him. Excellent idea. Oh no. Miss Sharma, I must ask. No. Miss Sharma, I. Uh... You and the Viscount know each other from Oxford. I thought you met uh, today. I have uh, you are going to say much more at this <laughs> very moment. You've stepped in it now, mate. This part of town is not safe for a young lady such as yourself. Is it the other half? Keep a watchful eye. No turning back now. <laughs> oh, just have all Eloise scenes and you've won. Uh, she's at the right place. She is at the right place. Tell me what you know of her. Of who? We know this is where Lady Whistledown prints her paper. We do? Why did you think we were here? I think you might be lost. Yeah. I'm evading my question. The rights of woman, the exploration of her mind, a mind which I can already discern is far, far superior to yours. Ooh. <laughs> is the shock you seem to be displaying at present due to the fact that I appear well read? And oh, I love it so much. Or do you suffer from some medical ailment about which I should be informed? <laughs> he respects it. He's like, <laughs> if I should ever see Lady What's Her Name. I'll be sure to let her know that her leading admirer is Cecilia. Oh, that was a good little exchange. <laughs> I know. She's so good. And uh, wait, what? Oh, yay. The fuck is that pitiful wedding? I do relish weddings. Don't you, Mrs. Barley? Oh, you certainly, <laughs> my lord. I think Miss Farley has a crush. He does have a pleasing smile. Yeah, first. <laughs> and oust me out of my very own home. Let's see how pleasing you find it then. Fucking hell, all right. You told me Appa always said it takes a courageous man to go after what he truly wants. Appa also said the mark of a true gentleman is honesty, something the Viscount notably lacks. It's interesting hearing their accent change when it's just them two talking together compared to when they're like putting on an accent for. Like Bridgerton and the Queen and all that. They are called zebra, striped horses from Africa. <laughs> striped Seven horses. Seven more yeah. arrive next week, though I can't think what to name them all. After fifteen Damn. years, I seem to have run out of ideas. Sure, mine. You seek to unmask Lady Whistledown with the help of your diamond. The writer will assuredly seek access to her, and when she does, <laughs> she's got it down. Waiting. Someone who was not present last season. Meant she was someone I knew I could trust. Yes. <sighs> Oh, Lady Danry, don't appear... I mean, she has a point, yeah, she wasn't here, so it couldn't be her. You relish this frivolity nearly as much as I do. This season... I love this two's little friendship. Let me show you where I house my elephant. Of course. Let's just nip off and see an elephant. Yeah. This Edwina and I are well suited. She's a lovely young lady. She wishes for children. <laughs> Better do just smoke it. Agreeable. I'm sister. Especially one younger than me, keep me from getting what it is I want. Who you want, you mean? <laughs> so offended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> My guy went, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking a soiree 
this evening. Of course, so yes, yes. That was next on the agenda, a soiree. How much clearer must I be? I brought a gift for Miss Edwina. Take your Trojan horse elsewhere. <laughs> I assure you, Miss Shama, this is a very real horse. I'd not recommend trying to climb inside. You look at his fresh this is all a game. braids. I'm not here to... But has it ever occurred to you this might in fact be about what your sister wishes for instead? Yeah. Has a point, but... Bridgerton. She overheard a conversation that her sister didn't overhear. I brought you a small token to remember our fine time. Small token? Together. Imagine someone just rolling up to your house with a horse to me? and going, yeah, I've got your small token. Well, that looks good. <laughs> I'll just point out every shot that looks good and looks shit. It looks exactly the same as the last one. This is precisely what makes my establishment different, Bridgerton. I know it doesn't look different though, though. <laughs> sorry mate. Like I get to be fair. I bet all these rooms look exactly the same. I must say, Mr. Mondrich, I'm quite overjoyed to see what a fine establishment you've built by the sweat of your own honest labour. Hear hear. Hmm. My guy said honest labour. Tidying of dogs. Yes. Perhaps you have a, a friend who finds the subject interesting. Mother, are you quite well? No, no. <laughs> I do like I like this family. I do. I think they're all very strong characters. Some are reading poetry, I hear. God, there is a lesson do here that. for you somewhere, Anthony. I only hope that this time you will finally learn it. Something like Yo, they're well impressed. Eloise was like, <laughs> get right. Oh. What? Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's got an audience and they've all got to stand there and what? <laughs> Ah yes, that was pretty good. He's he's won so far. Yeah, that got a round of applause. What's this? Yes. Oh, f I just feel sorry for him. See him, I just yeah, him, I just feel kind of sorry for. Everyone else was awful. But... Do not hold it against me. Oh, these two could be good mates actually. Oh oh, uh, yeah no, that's. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> God, it's... The guy who pulled the flower out, he's one, Annie. Everyone else was God. It is quite beautiful indeed. But I seem to have grown weary of the colour. <laughs> I, I, I agree. I think you constantly well, wearing yellow. Pardon me. <laughs> Colin's walked in, so I'm cutting off all conversation. Goodbye. I don't blame Colin was kind of suave this season, to be fair. Not a devotee of mystery, perhaps? Me? No. I'm always turning to the final chapter first. Why? Speaking of... I guess I'll just skip to the last step of Bridgerton, then. You must never lonely. I only assumed... Never mind. <clears throat> and they're not going to get interrupted no. again, are you? It really is someone who... Here he is, yeah. <laughs> that was such You're a right. bad trick as well. I was not exactly lonely on my travels. I did begin... A real conversation with someone. Someone I had known for a very long time. And yet, uh, after everything that happened... Yeah, both Thompson, with Penelope. I realised they never truly knew this person at all. <laughs> Myself. Yourself. Okay, or himself. I have you to thank. Your letters were so encouraging. I mean, that's good, though. Thought, Got to learn him about if himself a bit. Me this way, then surely I can too. I like that. A bit of self-improvement. You are pen. Uh. You do not count. <laughs> You're my friend. Uh, of probably not what she wanted to hear, but do we ship him? I do a little bit. I do. I think like her like throwing Marina under the bus last season kind of put me off a little bit. But then I didn't really like Marina anyway. And by the way, where is Marina? They've definitely just got her out of the show. I need you. I'm in the midst of a conversation. Outside. <laughs> oh god. Anthony don't care. I'm afraid that is not possible. That poem is the opposite of good. That poem's nonsense. <laughs> well, fair enough, there you go. Is not everyone supposed to love Byron? Many in our year at Cambridge thought my poetry far superior to his. Does that mean yours is more or less... Because shit on Byron's name, name, I guess. Mm. Poetry's the opposite. Didn't Byron have, like, 50 wives or some the shit like that? Or he had, like, a hundred maids and he slept with all of them. Or some... I don't know. That's what I mean. To delight in her beauty. So much so that... All your defences crumble. You would willingly oh, take guy. any pain. 
any bird would die. Even Anton is falling from a bird. <laughs> you should apply yourself more often, Benny. He's flabber flustered. And on that cheek. Yeah, he's gonna be a, he's gonna be a poet. So soft, so calm, yet eloquent. Ah, here we go. Yeah. A mind at peace with all below. It's a heart him. whose love is innocent. My guy. Yes. Yes. Gentlemen, thank you. I forgot his name, for but he would be yeah. splendid display of your talents this evening. Amazing Two of you were talented, or everyone else was sure. terrible, and then there's one guy that I just felt really bad for. I spent all evening crafting something original. Would you like to hear it? Would everyone like to hear it? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh good old chappy! Oh, please be good. Big dick, big dick, big dick I have. Let me What's marry you. That's the, that's the end of Truly to admire all men. All your defences crumble, but you would willingly take on any pain. Just stolen his Benedict's poem. To honour him. I glanced oh, over. I can't reclaim these words as my own, though someone else is entirely. Ah, oh, fair as well. And pretend to be someone I am not. I can pretend to want the very same things as you, but Everyone's I Everyone's intrigued. And I hope that is what will speak louder than any pretty words ever can. <laughs> She's well impressed. <laughs> I love her so much. Yeah, yeah pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Not really a talent, but Did it's a good speech. Here, have some lemonade, because that's all we serve here, apparently. It's lemonade. That just looks like swamp water. Is she entranced by him? Why? I don't think there's been anything yet for her to, like, really... What would that did that speech make her be like look at him differently? It only brings out the worst in us before we discover it has been fruitless all along. I'm aware I've made a fool of myself tonight, Lady Danbury. Not, I did not really. From you. In fact, I do not mean to hear it from anyone. Did I miss something? Did she shit on the table or something? A single person here thinks of me to never set foot in this city again. Uh, she's probably bored of having a ball every night. There wasn't really a ball, I guess. It's a soiree. You wish to be alone. But a mere six and twenty. Perhaps you should know. Six and twenty is. I will be content knowing my sister is taking <laughs> well, care wait, of say someone's in. I have lived a life. <laughs> She's too powerful. I have earned the right to do whatever I please, whenever I please, and however I please to do Oh, slam it down. You are not me. And if you continue down this road... You most certainly never will be. Uh, she's such a boss. One has to wonder what secrets the season's diamond is holding near and dear to her heart. And who shall she choose to share them with? The Viking. God, they just swarm in like insects. Oh, it's just like men appear out of frame. Farmers. If you are truly that vexed by the manner in which Lady Whistledown writes... To yes, an Eloise and Penelope scene. She's finally revealed herself. What? what? Oh, I was not going to tell you this because she's like shit. <laughs> Surely it's not likely to be another coincidence. For you must keep an eye out. The thing is, she can't the do anything to change it now. Then we will know that the print shop is indeed hers. Yeah, but she's just going to change it, and now surely that gives her away a little bit because no. Oh, like so all of a sudden they just suddenly start changing how the K's are spelled. Not spelled, but written or whatever. I thought she was dressed like a dolphin then. I was like a literal onesie of a dolphin. It's not. Give me the discount to keep me away, and we'll both be happier. <laughs> she's good. She's a good little bargainer. Bargainer. That's not a word. Oh, a oh 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 oh. To be fair, one. Well, yeah, running away probably not the best option. Yo, yo! Look at this room. If our theory is correct, then Lady Whistledown will indeed be in this very collection. Okay, let's have a look at this collection then. When even the most well-kept of secrets must eventually yep, she is. come to light. Eloise. Yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's going to... Hmm. I'm trying to think how this story... Something's going to happen with Charlotte slash Whistledown by the end of this season. Like, I think Eloise is going to definitely find out that it's her. She'll either decide for it herself or she'll just be told that it's that it's her. I don't know, but uh, it's building up because they're not just going to have the Queen try to investigate this for it. Maybe even the Queen will find it. Maybe everyone will just find out it's Penelope by the end of the season. I don't know. 
Uh, but definitely Eloise, maybe the Queen. I'm intrigued to find out because uh, I'm, I'm actually way more invested in like Penelope slash Whistle Downs storyline this season than I thought I would be. Like if you told me at, like this time last season that oh yeah you're gonna be getting a huge storyline at the start of season two about Whistle Down, and I'd, I'd just be like okay yeah cool whatever. But I'm actually it's actually maybe the strongest part of this season because again you have more scenes with Eloise and Penelope because of it and. Penelope's character is way better this season so far than she was last season, so uh, that's really good. But yeah, episode two, very, very good episode. I'd say pretty much as good as the first one, maybe even slightly better. Yeah, I'll go again. I had only jotted down, jotted down two little negatives. First one, still don't really ship Kate and Anthony. I think I'm getting there a bit more, but I actually don't mind him and the uh, I don't what's her name the. Uh, Actual, I say actual sister, but the sister he's meant to be marrying. Um, I don't have a name here. Ed, Edwina, Edwina. She she's not too bad of a character. I thought she'd be. I thought she'd come across as like a really boring character to make Kate stand out more. But Kate's definitely more interesting than Edwina is. But I don't think she's awful. She's not like super boring or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens with that storyline. But I don't think she's that bad. Kate's definitely more interesting, but. I, not in a way where I ship her with Anthony. It That's not the reason I find Kate interesting as a character. I'm not like, oh, I can't wait for her to get with him because that's that'd be so interesting. It's not like that. I just think she's a good character based on her personality and how she talks to Anthony. Like that scene at the race where she just shut him down when it came to the horses, I thought was quite good. Uh, and how protective she is of her sister as well. And you kind of do understand the reason why she doesn't want Edwina to be getting with Anthony because she wants what's best for her and he's I mean she sees him maybe a little bit differently now based on the final five minutes but we'll see but uh yeah really like Kate really like Edwina and really like Anthony this season so far again though as a negative I wouldn't say it's a negative again I said but hopefully by episode four I am an, um, at a point where I maybe am on board with Kate and Anthony because that's clearly the storyline they're trying to go down and then on top of that Pen Penelope's mom her family drama with the uncle who's moved in it's fine i just think it's definitely the weakest storyline at the moment i think they're i'm not really sure where it's gonna go or what not not the point in it is because obviously the you know the setting up the weddings between one of their daughters and uh getting pulled out of financial ruin which is which is fine as well but i just don't think it's that interesting the storyline minus take penelope out of it for sure because penelope has her own storyline anyway with whistle down but when it comes to that family and their their drama i'd say i'm not that bothered at the moment but other than that like that there wasn't a ball this episode we kind of had the races and a soiree with, with, with the guys showing off their talents if you can really call it that which i felt like was a little at least a little bit different to them to them just going to another ball so thank god for that uh i've already mentioned anthony and kate's back and forth which i think is quite strong oh eloise trying to hunt down whistle down that whole scene where she was where she found the the place where the papers are printed off and was talking to that guy who worked there as well. I think that was a very, very good scene. Love Eloise. She's super, super good this episode. And the scene as well where Colin, uh, Benedict and Anthony were doing uh, oh, what do you call it? fencing when they were doing that and having that conversation as well. I think it was a very strong scene. So, yeah, I'm really... And Dan, Danbury, is that name? The, the woman. Again, they don't actually have that many names here when it comes to... Bridgerton for me to go off, but I think I named Lady Danbury. She's excellent. She's such a good character. Uh, possibly my fave. No, I don't know. We'll we'll see when I do the character tier list. Possibly, but Lady Danbury, that's one. She's in the guest stars. She's not a guest star. She's a main. Poor in the main. What are you doing? But uh, she's she might be possibly my favorite character based on both seasons. But we'll see because I really do like a lot of these characters. So, like I say, we'll see when we do the character tier list. But yeah, rating, I'll, I gave the last episode an 8.1 out of 10. I'd say this was a little bit better, so I'm going to go an 8.3 out of 10, I think, for this one. Really into this season so far. Seems like it's definitely got more potential than season one had. But, of course, we still have six episodes left, so we'll see if they can keep that up. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you do want the early and uncut reactions, oh, they won't be that early, but by a few hours. But if you do want the uncut reactions to Bridgerton, then a link to the Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to leave it there for today and watch episodes three and four tomorrow. So I'll see you for then. Until then, take care. Peace.